Hi, this is Morgan Jaremus with RT Book Reviews, and I'm joined today with Marie Force. Hi. Hello, nice to be here. Excellent. You you write romantic suspense, I which do. is one of my favorite genres. I absolutely love it. But you write for Karina Press, which is a digital publisher, mm -hmm. uh, Harlequin's uh, digital right. first um, yes. arm. Can you talk a little bit about um, kind of the changes in industry that make make digital and ebooks? Um, so popular with readers. Well, um, you know, we all know that like last year was the we all call it the Kindle Christmas or the Nook Christmas. Mm -hmm. Everybody got that's what all my readers wanted for Christmas last year. And since then, you know, the ebook thing I think is really like it started. It was already starting to take off. But even since the beginning of the year, it's just been crazy. And um, people really seem to be enjoying reading in that way. And um, so it was a good time for this series to kind of be launched by Karina when they were launching their line too mm -hmm. so because I'm one of their debut authors mm -hmm. like uh, for the whole line I was one of their um, launch authors and so that was really exciting to be in on it from the beginning and to see how oh my god the energy and the you know Karina the whole team has been just amazing and to be working with what I call big harlequin too and <laughs> you know all of their amazing people and there's definitely a tremendous amount of energy being put into this, and so I'm really excited about that. And also, one of the things I love about Karina Press is that if you go on KarinaPress.com and you know you're interested, oh, I, I've got to read this new Fatal series book. You can click, and it downloads, and within three minutes, I'm reading your right, book. Right, right, yep. And the Karina site is really interactive that way, mm -hmm. and you can. There's a number of different ways to buy the books, and and they've been really good about making that easy for readers. So. Really excited about it. Okay. So I, I want to talk about your Fatal series, which okay. is which is a series we're here today. And um, there's a couple very unique aspects of of your series. Mm -hmm. um, we have the same couple throughout. Right. Um, we're we're at book four now, and we yeah. we have a novella. Yeah. And I think that that's really unusual in in urban fantasy. Sometimes you'll have like a same couple. Right. Right. Um, but you don't see that a lot in more traditional romance or or you know romantic suspense. Right. Um, so I want to I want to take the characters apart a little bit. You've got okay. Sam and you've got Nick. I, I want to start with your heroine Sam. Okay. Um, she is a police lieutenant. Mm -hmm. um, she is definitely a a woman in a man's world. She is, and she's a woman in a man's world in which her father was a rock star, mm -hmm. and her father is a retired deputy chief who was um, shot on the job three months before he was due to retire and left a quadriplegic and his case is unsolved throughout the series and um, one of the questions I'm most often asked is who shot Skip? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's just say that right now. <laughs> I've not a, been decided. No, I'm a seat of the, seat of the pants writer and I, and I figure things out when Sam figures things out and I had that happen to me and actually in Fatal Consequences there was a situation where the case was unfolding and she kind of came to a conclusion and I was like, oh! <laughs> why <laughs> such a, you know and I was shrieking and I was yelling and my kids were like you know are you having finally having like an embolism mom or like but it was just so hard to describe like what that feels like that my character led me to that answer you know and it was just she's amazing and I I, I love writing her because she's such a, she's a mess too I mean she's you know she's got <laughs> stomach issues and she's dyslexic mm -hmm. and she's got you know not that those things make a person a mess but all together a whole bunch of issues and you know she's she has the worst time being truthful with the people in her life. I mean, she's constantly hiding things and keeping things to herself. You know, she doesn't want to bother anyone. She doesn't want to worry, mm -hmm. you know, and of course Nick doesn't put up with that. And she's got an ex-husband who's a creep. And, you know, he's constantly, wait till you see what happens in the novella <laughs> with him. He's not happy she's getting remarried. So, you know, just, she's, she's her life is like all over the place. She's also in, has fertility issues. You know, so she's got a lot that she's dealing with personally and, you know, so she gets into this new relationship with this guy who's like perfect for her, but you know, he's demanding honesty and he's demanding that she put it all out on the table, and that is so op opposite of who she I was is. Say, one one thing about Sam that I think readers are going to figure out right away is she's one of those characters that would much rather just ignore than than face. Oh yeah, she's, oh, she turns deny, to her deny, career. deny, yeah. deny, and she'll turn to her career when her when her personal life gets yeah. bad. She'll just throw herself into her cases yeah. rather than actually yeah. confront let's what's going work on. on yeah. what's happening. Yes. So that's Sam. That's mm -hmm. your heroine. Now let's talk about Nick. Ugh. Nick is one of those perfect guys. I have to say you you are going to fall in love with him because he's he's a senator for yes. one, super successful, well, yeah. very handsome, very distinguished. Yeah. Yeah. Um and and that but that with itself brings issues being such in the public eye. Right, because Sam hates that. And you know, Sam wants to be under the radar and um 
right before Fatal Affair, which is the first book opens, she was involved in an um, undercover um, thing that kind of went bad, um, as things do for her. Um, <laughs> uh, she was undercover for six months, and, and now that she's with Nick, she realizes she will never again be able to do that. She'll, not that she liked it, but it's just this whole new reality for her of how she deals with her career in the subtext of his. And mm -hmm. his is like, you know, so they become like, you know, like a Jack and Jackie Kennedy of Washington, and everyone's interested in their every move, and there's... Oh, they're photographed everywhere they're photographed they go. And, yeah. You know, um, there's, there's a joke in the novella where they're on their way to their wedding when Sam's sister Tracy says, um, I, cause it, their wedding technically happens before the royal wedding, and uh, I don't think Kate's gonna get this many people lining the, <laughs> you know, so, and Sam's like, oh, screw, you know, <laughs> shut up, and you know. I don't wanna hear yeah. that. So, and they're all, their sisters are making princess jokes, and you know, so. But I mean, the play, the city is mobbed, um, watching, and they, the police escort the limo, and you know, because they probably couldn't have gotten there otherwise. I mean, it's a nice gesture, but so Nick though is just you know, what's not. And Nick comes from a hard scrabble background too, which um, you, if you read Consequences, you you know that his mother reappears in that book, and not in a good way. And um, wait till you see what happens at the wedding. I'm just saying. And um, <laughs> so he's just, you know, he's a great guy and he wants, um, he wants a family of his own. He's never really had that. He has, his parents were teenagers. He was foisted off on a grandmother that didn't really want the responsibility of a child. And, um, you know, so he's, he's pulled himself up and met John O'Connor at Har Harvard, became friends with the O'Connor family. John's father was a senator. And John's father kind of changed Nick's life in a lot of ways. And um, so it's... Uh, he, he's had a really interesting journey, and but I love him. I think <laughs> I, everyone loves him. I want him for my very I own. Know. Oh, don't let my husband hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he already knows that. <laughs> so, but no, I, I love writing them, and um, he he's just he always says and does the right thing, you know. And exactly. I love that about. It. She All hates of, that because she's always wait a, a mess. Second, wait a second, though. Wait a second. I do I do have to call you out on one thing, though. <laughs> what he does have a problem with is. Her job can be very dangerous, mm -hmm. and he really has had a hard time coming to terms with the fact he has. she's going to be shot at sometimes. Yes. She's a police officer. Right, police and she's detective. high profile. Yeah. And high so, profile. Yes, and he, he is definitely, um, he has a meltdown, I think, is it injustice? He has injustice. In the second book. Yeah, where he, uh, yeah. I can't believe I'm like, what book is that? No. <laughs> um, but it's, um, he does, he kind of like thinks he can't do this. And mm -hmm. you know, after he's gotten her to commit to this and we're in this and we're gonna do this and mm -hmm. then something happens where he thinks that she's been shot and um, it's actually somebody else, but it's, it, I can see why he would have thought it was her. And it's really emotional. Like you yeah. feel like that emotion on the page with yes. characters. When he walks like, out of the hospital, I can't do this, you know? And she's like, yeah. well, what do you mean? And then when, what I, what I really loved about that is that it was the first time she had to fight for the relationship because mm -hmm. he'd been doing all the fighting up until then. And she really had to step up in a whole new way at that point. And I loved that. I loved writing that. I love, she gets home and she looks at her dad's house which is three doors from Nick's house, which Nick's did, Nick did on purpose, so she'd be near her dad. And when he builds her the ramp at, oh, oh. I know, I know. So her, guy, I'm telling you, this guy is like. Her, he, oh. he puts a ramp in their house, three doors down from her dad, so that her dad can come to dinner at their house. You know, I mean, so he can visit their home. He has a ramp put in. But of course, when Sam sees the construction site that he didn't tell her about, he thinks that she thinks that somebody's tried to bomb their house. And it, it turns into a bit of a disaster, but. You know, his intentions were good, as guys, you know, often are. But, um, no, but he just, he's, he's so good. I mean, and he, but that fear is constantly, and it's a big, it's a, it's a journey for him to realize that he's going to have to find a way to live with that. Mm -hmm. That it's, it's going to always be a part of who they are as long as she has this job. And that, that's a big deal for him. So, I, yeah, I gotta work that into the new book too. I've gotta have something happen to her yeah. so that he can get all up in arms again. <laughs> well, well I, have to, I have to ask you at RT, we always love asking authors who have series with the same characters, mm -hmm. we see the same mm -hmm. characters as they grow and mature. Um, what is something that you might have learned about Nick and Sam that you didn't know starting out, but as you've developed them, you've come to, to, come to realize about them? Um, I think that they're better together than they are apart, and I think that that's something that, that they're coming to see too is that, um, that this relationship that w was kind of started six years ago, they had a one very memorable one night stand and then for a variety of reasons, mostly involving her malicious ex-husband, who wasn't her husband at the time, but whatever, they were apart for six years and then when they get back together and they realize that what they felt initially is still there, 
you know, this relationship becomes larger than life. You know, I mean, like this is a big deal. And I think it's been really fun writing both of them absorbing that and learning to live with that and like, wow, like this is huge, you know, and like this, is, I wasn't planning this, but yet here it is, now what do I do? And so it, it, that's been really awesome and watching them grow into that and now they're married um, in Fatal Flaw, which I'm actually halfway through and is there anybody around from Karina? Okay, I'm running a little late, but I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> I had this joke, I had it's to- time for you to read it. I had to hit 50,000 words um, before I could come here, so I said um, 50K for RWA was my goal. And I hit 50K on Monday night, and I think I was mid-sentence and ran to pack my suitcase at 11.30 at night because I was leaving the next morning. That's how, like, you know. So I'll, I'll get there, but. <laughs> So I'm halfway through Fatal Flaw now, and um, which will be out by the time this this comes out. And um, um, there now it's it's a whole other. Now we're married. Okay, so all the new adjustments, you know, that come with that. And um, there's also some stuff going on in the wake of their a return to work after their honeymoon. That's a little interesting. So that I don't want to give anything away, but it's fun. <laughs> no, I, I like so so t so many times in in a romance novel after the wedding is kind of and then they lived happily ever after. And yeah. you're diving right in there and saying, no, the relationship doesn't end when you say I do. It's no, the it's just the, the beginning. And um, in, in Fatal Consequences, we introduced um, the character of Scotty Dunlap, who is a 12-year-old boy that Nick meets in a state home in Virginia when he was on a, um, um, you know, official business for work. And um, he, he meets this kid, and he just sees himself in this kid. And, um, you know, right from the very beginning, you know, and like I knew, that he's going to be part of them in some way. And watching that whole thing unfold, too, has just been, I, I've really loved that. And it's happening quickly. And you know, people might say, oh, well, you know, how soon can they adopt this kid? But this kid is going to be part of them. And in Fatal Flaw, one of the things that you know, um, Nick finally broaches the subject with Scotty, you know, we would like to have you come and live with us. And he doesn't quite get the answer that he's expecting. So I haven't written that yet, but I can't wait to get to that. But it's coming soon. But you know, it's it's a big deal for all of them. And you know, Sam and Nick have the life that they have, and to bring a kid into that, even though they know that they can make his life, they can do a lot for him. They also realize that they have a lot of demands on their time already, and so they're going to be really counting on their village, you know, the family and the friends and the to help them. And so it's going to be, that's going to be an interesting new development because it happens, like life happens, you know, they... You don't count on it. No, and, and you sudden. can't say, on this schedule, I'm going to meet this child who's yeah. absolutely wins my heart with the first conversation, you know, the first conversation with him, you know, where they realize they have so much in common. And Nick sees this kid and he sees himself at 12 and he knows that he could change this kid's life the way Graham O'Connor did for him years ago, and the end of Fatal Consequences when he has that conversation with Graham, I was all <laughs> so, you know, like, God. So now, again, we've got newlyweds with high-powered jobs who have this child who suddenly owns them, you know what I mean? And now what do we do? You know, so it's fun. I know that your books are very well received by both our readers and our reviewers. Oh, if thank you. If you go on the RT website, the Fatal yes, Series is one Fatal of those. Fatal Series, oh, yes. The, gotta check it out. I and love uh, the reviews. Thank you, RT. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. and so, yeah, so book four, you can uh, check it out right now, Fatal Flaw. Yes. And, but I highly recommend you go back to Fatal Fairy. Start at yes, the beginning. Start at the beginning. And, and really learn about Nick and Sam, and, yeah. and you won't you won't uh, be But if sorry. you do read them out of order, I do try to make sure that they end with a satisfactory yes. ending. And yes. Yes. So you won't get, you'll get a full complete book, not. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. This was fun. <laughs>